welcome to today's episode of Whiskey Face. So today I'm going to be trying some vodka. So this vodka is actually an English vodka. It's made by a company called The Lakes Distillery, which is in the Lakes District. I believe it's one of the only distilleries in the Lake District and I believe this is the only vodka that is distilled in the Lake District. So it comes in a little bottle, I bought a little bottle, don't know why because I probably would have drunk a full size bottle, not all in one go obviously. So it's come in a little bottle, in fact this must be an old stock because if you go on their website the bottles that they uh, use now have black labels and they're a bit more fancy. So what can I tell you about this product and this distillery? So I understand the distillery has been around for just a few years, it's quite young so 2000 11 I think was when they opened. They do a whole range of spirits and uh, they do a lot of whiskies and they do a lot of gins and they do some vodkas so I think they do this vodka and currently they do I think it's a caramel flavoured vodka liqueur. And another interesting fact about this vodka is the 2019 this vodka won Best Vodka in the World Award at the uh, World Vodka Award Ceremony, which I didn't even know existed. So I'm assuming it's going to be a nice vodka. So on their website, uh, they on their website they market it as an ultra smooth um, vodka. So hopefully it's not too harsh. Apparently it's made from British wheat clean and crisp and it has been distilled just the once but it's been distilled for quite a long time in a copper pot. Whether that makes any difference I don't know. Okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a shot. So this is a 50ml bottle. It actually um, it says on here it's 40% alcohol volume which is what you'd expect from a vodka. They're normally about 37 and a half to 40 unless you go uh, abroad and then you can get some really strong stuff. I mean, I've had vodka that was like 50, sorry, 60, 70 percent in uh, Germany, and obviously over here you can get vodka that's about 50 percent. I think Smirnoff Blue is 50 percent. So remember, this is supposed to be ultra smooth. You know, I think there's more than 15. Well, no, because there's normally 25 fills one of these. Actually, it doesn't smell. You know, like normally you, you, you smell your vodka, you can smell it. It doesn't really smell that strong. So there's a potential it, it could be smooth, as ultra smooth as they make out. Get the itching out of the way. Right. Let's just take a little sip. It's not bad. Get the usual heat as you do with the alcohol because it's quite high in alcohol content. But there's no like really bad aftertaste. It's quite palatable. Let me do the shot. It is strong. Yeah, I don't normally drink vodka like that. I normally just drink it with coke. Or a mixer of some sort. I mean, I mean, I, it went down okay. And it, it, I suppose, as spirits go, it is quite smooth. I'm not sure it's ultra smooth, but it's certainly smooth. Um, there's no real bad aftertaste. I mean, when I've swallowed it, it, you could you could feel it, you could taste it. Obviously the quantity, rather than taking a sip, taking a big quantity, you can definitely taste it in the throat. But apart from that, it's okay. 
and I have got a small after tinge in my mouth and salivating a little bit but nothing harsh, nothing bad, I mean I wouldn't say it was bad. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try it with a coat, I've got some ice. So, might as well do that with that in. Got myself a coat. Right, it makes good fucking coat. So, all in all, I think it's a viable drink. So it's about £35 for a 70ml bottle, so that's not too bad, considering it's distilled at a small independent distillery in the Lake District, so it's not mass produced. So I, I think I'd happily pay £35 a bottle for that, I mean it's not horrible vodka, it's obviously well made, they know what they're doing, and yeah I could see myself buying some of this and having it in the drinks cabinet. If you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up, and also please do put any comments down below and I'll answer them all. If you've got any ideas or any drinks I could try, also put those in the comments down below. And also do please press subscribe so you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Cheers.